these five minute vids are killing me. So now it says work out the distance it slides in the first two seconds. So I've got to sue that because I've got a constant acceleration, which I've just worked out as uh, 1.96. I can do sue that's on this now. So part B. So it wants to work out the distance. Initially it's at rest. Speed I'm not bothered about. The acceleration is 1.96 because I've just worked that out. And the time it's doing it in is two seconds. So I need a SUVAT equation without V. So that's going to be S equals UT plus a half AT squared. So S would be 0 times 2 plus a half times 1.96 times 2 squared. So S is going to be 3.92 metres. Now that's not, oops, press one button, that's, that's fine. That's not overly bad, that is it, setting that up. That's quite straightforward. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop the vid now, so it looks like you've got lots of videos. Actually, no, there's a question for you. Do the question for you. And I'm going to come back to that, that first example, which I don't really like, to be honest. There, can you see that? So that's quite nice, that. There's only one more example after this bit. In fact, do you know what I'm going to do? I might do the last example and then come back to it. That's the, the last example in this pack by the looks of it. Right, so let's have a look at this one then. So it says, a box of mass 2 kilo has pushed up a rough plane. So I've got 2 kilos acting down. I'll go in that way. Uh, so a horizontal frictional force, so it's being pushed up. So it's a horizontal frictional force, Oosh, like that. So it's going horizontal, like that. So that force there is 25. Now we said that was 10 degrees, so from my little triangle, I can draw there a 25 cos 10 and a 25 sine 10 and I've got the force for the 2g as well with 10 so 2g cos 10 2g sine 10 right so let's do it let's do it like we always do then so let's do f equals ma perpendicular so I've got that, take that, zero. So force is going upwards, it's R, but it's also the 25 sine 10. And then force is going down, the opposing it is a 2G cos 10. Oops, and that's equal to zero. So I can rearrange that as R is 2G cos 10 minus 25 sine 10. And I can now use that to work out f max. Mu r. Mu is 0 0.3. So f max is 3 over 10. This board's not working properly. 2g cos 10 minus 25 sine 10. If you can read the board, because the board's been a bit silly. Then if I do f equals ma parallel, so it's going, it's being pushed up, isn't it? And I want to find the acceleration. Oh, it's all there, I'm sure. So because it's going up, I've got force in the direction of travel minus force opposing it is equal to MA. So the force pushing it up is a 25 cos 10. Now friction is acting against it. I've not put friction on here. I'm going to put friction like that because it's quite hard to put it on. You could actually have it going into the front of the box. I'm just going to set it up now, but I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to pause it. Hang on. Right, so I've got that equal to 2a. The 2a is stuck in at the edge. Everything's there. If I put everything in my calculator on the left-hand side, divide it by 2, it gives me 7.06 metres per second squared for the acceleration. There. But it's all the same, isn't it? Work out the R value, work out F marks, and then use it parallel. Right, I'm going to come back to those examples at the start, which I don't.